Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive, joined by my friend Rawson from Tactical Performance Center, who you've seen in lots of our other videos. And today, Rawson is going to be covering how hard to grip your pistol. That's a often misunderstood and or controversial topic. So Rawson's here to provide some clarity on it. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of guys in the different gun forums, they discuss, they put everything, you know, in the percentage-wise, exact number. So actually, you're ready for the absolute truth there. Make sure you have your notebooks and your pen because I'll give you the exact number. The exact number, you ready, guys? It's exactly, precisely 68.345%. I'm just joking, I'm kidding, of course. Now, the actual answer is, well, depends. Depends or what? Let's see right now. Again, because we like experiments in Tactical Performance Center. Why? Because we call our doctrine reactive shooting science. So science works through experiments to actually prove if our hypothesis is actual truth. Miles, you ready for that experiment? Sure. Now what I want you to do, take your shooting stance okay. and simulate your grip with both hands. Now keep your trigger finger extended. Now I want you to apply as much pressure as you can until you see actually your hands start to shake. Okay. Give everything, 110%. Now, I want you very gradually to start relaxing that grip until that shake is gone. At the moment that you see your hand steady, stop, do not relax more than that. Mm -hmm. Now pay attention how much pressure you apply with your shooting hand and how much pressure you're applying with, it's not support hand, we do not call that support hand, we call that control hand. Why? You understand in a second. Now, try to move your trigger finger without relaxing or changing that pressure. It's kind of hard, right? Mm -hmm. Now, gradually start to relax only the shooting hand okay. until you achieve very easy and fast trigger finger manipulation. And at the moment that you achieve that, do not relax the shooting hand more than that. Mm -hmm. Now, close your eyes. And remember, how much pressure you apply with your control, not support hand, and how much pressure you apply with your shooting hand. Mm -hmm. So what's your input here? Uh, so definitely the firing hand is going to be less, there's going to be less pressure, but it's so that I can articulate the trigger finger. The support hand, control or the control hand. hand, control hand, is definitely more. It's crushing down more, but only to the point where there's no shake. So, um, getting the point across where it's not going to disturb the sights. And again, the pressure on the firing hand, as firm as possible. But I need to be able to articulate that trigger. Yeah. First of all, why we call the known support hand control hand? Because if you call it support hand, that means you're just supporting with that hand. You just said that basically you're applying more pressure and that more pressure will create more friction on the gun. Can you say that that's a, a support hand? No, actually that's a control hand. You're developing, you're calling it all the time support hand, you're developing a bad, bad analogy in your subconscious mind and it really starts to be a support hand that we want to avoid at any point. So how much pressure? Now that's very individual. Mm -hmm. For you, you're applying more pressure with your control hand Right, that uh, shooting hand. Now that can vary, and if you want to put some numbers there for you guys to uh, actually have more more data, it can vary from 50-50% up to more or less 70-30%. Always remember, always in the favor of your control hand, the non-shooting hand. At the moment that you actually start holding the gun more with your shooting hand, you stop shooting with both hands. It's not a two-hand grip. It starts to be a one-hand grip with support hand. Mm -hmm. That's not our desire here. We want to actually form a perfect two-handed grip, right? Mm -hmm. This is where the control hand starts to be a support hand, right? <laughs> yeah. So you guys notice the difference and why we call that a control hand. Now, that variation, that variable, of the pressure depends on what? We said that it's very individual, right? From 50-50 up to 70-30 in the favor of that control hand. Well, it depends only on one and only one thing. The ability, the dexterity of your trigger finger, the ability to move and relax the muscle groups of the trigger finger absolutely 
separate from the rest of the muscle groups of your palm. And don't forget to check the one of the other videos that we explain actually how to develop that dexterity in your trigger finger. And I'll leave a link to it right up here or somewhere down below. All right, so that actually will define uh, the proper pressure. Now let's, let's have to a conclusion here. What do you think is the main mission of, we emphasize guys, the control hand. We are applying as much what? Pressure. As we can without shaking, mm -hmm. because the shaking is a clear indication that you're over gripping the gun. So you, you grip the gun as tight as you can with your control hand without shaking, without over gripping, right? That pressure will create more friction on the gun. That's very desired. That's one of the principles of the grip that we preach in TPC. That's the only mission of the, our control hand. What's the primary mission of our shooting hand? Break the shot. To manipulate the trigger precisely, right? What is the secondary mission of your shooting hand? What uh, do you think? I would say to also help in terms of uh, maddling muzzle rise. What was the primary mission of uh, your control hand? Control, it's going to be, that, that. I would say that is the lead in controlling. What we said, we are applying what? Pressure yep. as much as you can. Mm -hmm. The secondary mission of your shooting hand is to apply pressure as much as you can without compromising the primary mission of the shooting hand, which is? Squeeze that trigger. Squeeze that trigger. Mm -hmm. The better dexterity you have you do with your trigger finger, the more pressure you will be able to apply also with your shooting hand, and the better control you'll have over the gun with the two-handed grip. All right, guys. Now, uh, we'll actually apply that in live fire, just changing a little bit the pressure from 50-50 percent up to 70 30 and let's see what you will feel like a difference in the behavior of the gun okay you ready to do that sure let's do it so you said that you're using more or less like a 73 ish yeah. percent yeah, in I favor usually, of your control hand i usually have more pressure my control hand all right so a fire of string of five shots on that popper that it's okay. about what 15 yards away okay. uh using your pressure that you're applying okay right? so far go ahead both make ready and just observe uh, what the sights will tell you. All right, now start uh, increasing a little bit the pressure with your shooting hand. But again, it's very important not to, uh, the, the pressure of the shooting hand not to exceed the, sh the pressure of your control hand. So make it uh, more even, like 50-50%. Okay. And uh, tell me what the sights will tell you. So did you notice any difference there? In that particular instance, for me, there was, uh, it was more controllable, honestly, with the 50-50. All right. Yeah. 50-50. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's more desirable mm -hmm. to be more or less even, 50-50%, but that means that you need to work to improve the dexterity of the trigger finger mm -hmm. and to improve that separation, that ability, because that definitely will contribute to more Friction and more friction, guys, means more control. So let's try it one more time. Okay. Again, close to 50-50. Okay. Uh, focus on that side and tell me if they're returning even faster. All right, safe and reholster. So if that feels better, that means that you, we have a go right now. You need to improve a little bit more dexterity and you can adapt that concept closer to 50-50%. But again, it's very individual, guys. Just play with uh, that variables. But again, remember, never apply more pressure with your shooting hand because you're starting to shoot the gun with one hand with a support. That's not our desire. Right. So there you guys have it, that common question, how much you know, pressure should you apply in your grip? This is the way that TPC approaches it and a lot of great shooters out there. So it's not one of those things you should be overthinking. It was a very simple answer. And uh, there are different ways that you can also explore it too. As Rawson mentioned, the pressure is easy to establish as a starting point, but then kind of tweak it. As you saw when I was doing live fire, I generally shoot with more uh, pressure with my control hand, but I haven't really explored it a lot ever since you know I got in my comfort zone. So now with just this video, you know, just uh, experimenting and uh, felt a little bit more comfortable 50-50. So it's an individual. Very individual. The most yeah. important thing is to stay focused and to apply 
the principles that are required to guarantee a good control of the gun. So basically for the grip, <laughs> you need as much pressure as you can because that will create more friction. Now, on the other hand, one of the core principles of uh, trigger control is the ability to move that uh, trigger finger separately from the rest of the uh, fingers and the uh, rest of the muscle groups of the palm. So find the combination that actually will help you to check these two requirements in most optimal way. So think more, not so much about techniques, but think in a sense of principles, then you can modify, create your own techniques, or you can even find something and discover something that uh, nobody discovered so far. Principles do not lie. So that's oh. the TPC way. Thanks, Ross, and really appreciate it. Hope you guys liked the video. Again, it's that common question, but now you have a simple approach to it. As always, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and you know, let us know what you think in the comments below. See you guys in the next video.